I can see you through my mold. Ha ha ha. Ah! Bigger hole! Bigger, bigger hole! Hey, hey, boys and girls, it's Draco here, being an absolute idiot to start the video. And Triax, if you're watching, you notice the daylight and there's no rain. Oh, yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, guys, so we got a plan for the day. We are doing stuff and things once again. Put a little bit of copper, a little bit of iron in here. Turn the timer to way high so it's not going to set itself off. We're going to make a new pick. One that I'm not stupid and I don't forget to, you know, put the diamond on it this time instead of putting more redstone than I need. Put those in there. Let's get you and you. All right. Because today we're going to make another portal because I need some quartz. Because I would like to make a drawer controller for all those. Oh, you didn't see the new building yet, did you guys? Let's go see the new building, and then I'll show you what we're going to do. So, remember at the end of the episode yesterday, we spent some time, we built this thing up, and it was looking like total complete crap. I didn't like it at all. So after the episode, I spent a good hour and a half just throwing materials up, taking materials down, throwing materials up, taking materials down. Went and got some more trees, chopped down some trees over there, grew some more trees. Oh, I left part of the tree up in there. Oops. But basically, I finally got it to where I wanted it. I even went and got some more birch from way off in the woods over there. So that we could have a good contrast going on. I built birch drawers to go in here. But the problem is, I don't have any way to get stuff into them unless I do it manually. Um, also, I made windows, but you notice I don't have any glass in there. So what we're doing right here is we've got cobblestone in here going into here. It makes a little bit of gravel sometimes, but it also makes sand. Sand automatically comes over here and gets turned into glass. So I, did, I think I put two or three stacks in there, so we're just going to let that baby go for a bit. Uh, we got spruce leaves down here to act as bushes around the border. Um, did cut this all the way around. And I ended up moving the building over, I think, two more blocks. Because I wanted that four gap over here. And I wanted that four gap over here, because it was just too close. It didn't look right. I didn't like it. So I like it better now. And then the cabling still goes underground, just like it did before. It goes from the bottom of this back over to here. And it actually comes up underneath the support there, and then it comes over under here. These things are all sitting on top of the cable, the, the leadstone flux duct. So, and then we also have the induction smelter over here. You remember making that up? I think I made that on camera. I'm pretty sure we did. At least I hope we did, because that's one thing we talked about. So we need a drawer controller. Now, if you've never ever played with uh, refined storage, not refined storage, storage drawers before, I'll show you what it is real quick. A drawer controller looks like this. It's made up with these guys here, which you need a piece of nether quartz for. And I could mine underground for days and never find the stuff. It's just easier to go in the nether and get it. I need a little more obsidian before I can get it. Um, let's see, three, three, six, two. I need two more pieces of obsidian. And it's a lot easier to get it with a pick than it is with a with a hammer. So we have everything we need but the quartz. Ooh. Pure nether quartz crystal. Oh no, okay. But what this thing does is Alright, let me tell you how I got this set up first. Let me see what it does. Um basically any drawer within a certain radius that is touching the drawer controller. The drawer controller will look through all the drawers that it touches and automatically put stuff where it goes. Now, if it can't find it, like let's say that I have iron here, redstone here, gold here, diamonds here, blah, 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 blah. You kind of follow me? Let's say I have all that going on and it looks all that and doesn't find it. It looks for the first empty slot and sticks it in there. So what I've done over here now, I've got this thing called trim back here. See the, the one probe tool tip at the top says oak trim on it. Those are storage drawers with no drawers in them. They're just blanks. And they act as connector blocks. So that way what I can what my plan is is to put the drawer controller on that one right there where the crosshairs are. And then run have like a chest here. So I'll have stuff or maybe I'll put the chest here so I've got a dump chest. And anything coming out of the furnace will automatically go to here. And anything we don't take out of here, like, for example, the gravel, we can automatically put in here. And then we'll have the chest automatically dump over here, and everything will just pop into here. 
Neat plan, right? This should not be very difficult to do. The hard part's going to be getting the obsidian. Now, I made this. I'm going to make this pick a little bit differently. Let's click on... That's the axe. That's the... Okay, there we go. So, we're going we're gonna to keep the wooden tool rod because, you know, it heals itself. We're going to use a copper binding. That gives us XP every time we break something with it. And we're going to use the iron thing because, see, it says magnetic too. That means it pulls things towards us just like we were holding a magnet. So, bam. So, it's got all those traits in it there. Ecological, magnetic too, and well established. Let's come down here. Renewable resources are good. They regenerate by themselves. Hitting things attracts nearby things. That means if something falls and it's too far away to automatically get to us, the next thing we break will pull it towards us as well. Pretty nifty, right? I think so. That means you're, when you're out mining, it becomes an automatic XP farm. That's kind of cool. Okay, we won't get in there. Thank you. Um, do I want to use lapis for this? Yes, I do. We're going to use lapis for this. And some redstone. Alright, so let's do you. First things first, put the diamond on it, because now we can mine obsidian with it. So before that, it would mine diamond level, not mine's obsidian level. That's awesome. Let's put some of this on there. That means it'll get more stuff for us, but it's 54 out of 60, so we need to do this. Get one more of those out. Oh, that went up to 180. Wow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. That gives us full luck one. Okay. And all the rest is going to be this. Give me one more of these. Split that in half. Throw you back in. Throw you back in. Now we're 60 out of 60. 50 out of 50. Oh, yeah. And this pick is now garbage. Absolute trash. One, two, three, four. Okay. Where did the lapis go? Oh, there's the lapis. So I can make another block out of those. It's okay. I'm not worried about that. Let's throw you back in here. I need to get a little bit of dirt I want to take with me. Uh, we'll, tools. we'll throw this one away. Put that one down here. Okay, let's go get some obsidian real quick. And this way you can see the mines too. Because I've never let you actually see the mines. This way, you, you know, there's proof it actually exists. And I did make some sausage rolls, too. So, I need these from. so here we go. Here's how we get down to the mines. It's a long, kind of roundabout way to get there. I had to do some exploring before I found this. I think I showed you that's going to be the XP farm. And somebody suggested I do this with, you know, mods and all. And I kind of almost want to do it the old-fashioned way. You know, the vanilla way. Oh, I got something else, too. I got so sick of like taking fall damage when I was building that. You hear that noise? I got slime boots. Yay! Whoop, back up over here. I got my mine tunnel going all the way down. I got the little marker there so I know where it is. Bam! Right in the head. And I've been going that way and this way. Oh, I didn't bring water with me. I think there's obsidian over here though. Did I make any obsidian here? Yes, I did. This is where I made it. Okay, so let's see if we can grab this. Let's go ahead. With the redstone, it mines pretty quickly. So I can do the vein miner. Woo, look at that. 25 of those bad boys. That's going to make a mess on the lava, but, you know, who cares? We don't really live down here. I wonder if I can get that base all the same way. Nope, okay. Put that back so I don't kill myself later when I come mining again. Okay, where's the exit at? Oh, do you remember I was talking about the destabilized redstone in the last episode? When you're mining down, sometimes you'll see a destabilized redstone ore. When you break it, the liquid comes out. So now I've got a destabilized redstone bucket. And I can make signal and blend out of that. I can make flux crystals. Fluxed electrum. Resonant thrusters. Ooh, oh, I forgot there was jetpacks. Cryothium dust can make redstone. Apparently, stuff's pretty hot. I forgot all about there being jetpacks. Okay, but now we got a bucket of this stuff, so for now we're just going to put it back down. 
because I don't have a use for it now. I know we are looking at it, I just don't know why. So let's go back up to the base, figure out where we're going to put this nether portal. And later on, I was watching um, Green. I loved to watch Green. Oop, I done missed the exit. And he had this thing he did a couple of years ago about uh, 10 buildings for your nether portal or something like that. Or 10 buildings to hide your nether portal or you know, something like that. And he does all this vanilla building or very slightly modded building where he, got, where he has his own texture packs. And he doesn't really do mods. And it was pretty neat the way he did it. So we may see if we can find a way to do that as well. You know, one of my goals here is to get better at building. Ooh, I need some of this. While we're here, I might as well grab it. So I was really wanted, um, I, I thought about making the room out of rock instead of wood. The one we're putting all the, all the machines in. Oh, almost made that. I thought he'd bounce up. But I didn't have enough rock of a lighter color that would work like I wanted it to. Switch to the Sora because it's going to be night when we come out of here. Okay. Those machines are still going. How are you guys doing? I took four stacks of eggs out of here a while ago. Man, they're back up to over two stacks again. Oh, there's a zombie coming. Let's go in and set him on fire. Okay, so we're going to build another portal. And not terribly close to the house because I hate the stupid noise it makes. We're going to need one of these and one of these. Do not need that. We throw these in here. Oh, I got over a stack of glass. I did not know that. Do I have a chisel? My chisel has nothing left on it. Let's see if we'll do this. So I won't... Holy jamamas! That's kind of violent. I did not expect that, Mr. Chisel. That's one of those. And I did not need aluminum. I needed iron. So let's do this first. You go here. And you go here. Okay, so let's throw this glass back, and let's go put the glass in here real quick so we actually have a real building. Are you okay with that, guys? I hope so, because by the time you say no, I will have already done this. Oh yeah, I like that glass. Ah, I like that glass. Now this building will need a door, obviously, so... We will be putting a door on this later. And I saw some exciting news last night. I was looking through Kurt's Forge and I just happened to look up Ender IO. And this might be all news. I have no idea. But I just looked at it to see if maybe I'd missed an announcement where it came back out and nobody told me. And wow, they used a lot of glass. I need one, two, three, four, five more pieces. Oh, we got plenty. And they said it's 98% done. Which is kind of exciting because it's one of my favorite mods. Alright, before you ask, yes, I know there's no roof. So it's not really a complete building yet. i got to figure out what kind of roof I want to put on this. I mean, I want to mimic the style we have over there, which we'll kind of started doing over here. Or do we want to do something else? Just put a flat roof on it because it's a machine building. I think we're going to go with an arched roof again because I love how that turned out. To me, that just... I don't know how what y'all think about it because nobody said anything in the comments, but to me, that looks really good. Probably my favorite build so far. I, I, I think I said that back in episode. Whoa, where did you come from, buddy? Somebody told me to make an electrical sword, so I think we're going to update this one another. And I need to come up with some way of XP storage before I lose all that, all those levels of XP. Let's throw you in here. 
So you in here. We're going to throw this in there too. Uh, we still need that and that. Electrum. There. Let's see how many of this goes. That's two. So let's just go make some. I need gold and silver. I believe that'll come together to make two bars for me. Let's find out. You're still sitting high, yes. Okay, let's let those melt real quick. Then they're gonna then they're gonna alloy. Then we'll get a new sword blade. Actually the person told me to make an electrum longbow. Which I'll more than likely end up doing. But for now, we're going to go with the Electrum Sword because I want to whack stuff. Because, you know, whacking stuff's kind of fun. Two ingots, perfect. There it is. Okay. Whoop. I gotta get that in land. I gotta stick that landing. So to upgrade, upgrade it to a different material, you just throw it in here, throw in the piece, and bam! So that's a shocking. So as you run around, you build up kinetic injury. Injury. Wow. Kinetic energy. And then when you whack stuff, it discharges it and gives you a knockback. It's kind of nifty. Alright, so. i got to pause for one second. Somebody's at the door. So when I come back, if I don't know what I'm talking about, remind me. Draku, nether. I'm going to leave the obsidian right here. I'll be right back. That usually makes for a much, much better commentary, you know, when y'all can actually hear what I'm saying. By the way, I did bring some of the trees down. So we got trees over here. How did that get... Weird. And I thought I planted. Oh yeah, I got. A... Oh yeah, see the sword it just leveled up. Let's put the thing over here. Let's just stick it over here for now. Oh, there's a witch. Watch this. Here's where it does. Woo. What did she hit me with? Well, poison, obviously. I don't know how I was going so fast. I've never seen that effect. What I was gonna say was we're gonna stick the um. Another portal right here, and then we'll come back and we'll build something around it later once I have time to decide what I want. Okay, let's go in here and let's get a little bit of dirt so we got some stacking material. You know what? Screw it. We don't need those stack of materials. Let's get a little bit. Of, let's go get some food though. That we do need. I'm saying we don't need the stack of materials because we can simply just get some nether rackets all over the place in the nether. Uh, I want something different this time. I had baked potatoes before. Yeah, there's nothing I really want in here, is it? Rice cakes, sausage balls are good. One. Let's do this. I think that'll work. Put that down there. All right. Let's make a run. We're off to get some nether, nether quartz. Bam! Here we go. Here comes an achievement. You ready for it? Achievement called Draco's drinking coffee. Hmm. Nothing like microwave reheated daily coffee. Ah. This, is here. Oh, this is not a very good uh, starting location here. So first things first, let's do this. Add a new waypoint. New portal. That way we can explore and still know where we are. Draconium 
up there. There's cobalt. Which I don't think we can get cobalt yet. I think I need to put a sharpening stone made out of obsidian onto my pick first. There we go. Let's do this. There's 27 of them. Pigman. I'm always scared to mine anything near the pigman ever since I played Infinity Evolved a few years ago. Just because you remember in there, if you mine stuff in front of them, they'd aggro on you because you're stealing their stuff. But oh, I need to get up there. We'll just use our pick. Oh, okay. <coughs> Turns into gray dye, turns into coal. Blocks. Can't really do anything with the blocks, it's kind of worthless. Don't need the. Oh, those things creep me out. I didn't actually mean to pick those up. I was hoping it would build stuff up under there. Those blocks I do want, so those make for great defense. It's just nether. It's horrible right in here. I was hoping to pick up some glowstone while we're down here, but you know what I think we're gonna do? Just one, not try to fall in the lava or catch on fire. Either way, what I think we're gonna do here? Ooh, man! Look at the mushrooms down there. Oh, those are cool looking. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, I can't hit that yet. Just quartz. Infernal hive. I think we may do some bees later. I've been thinking about doing that new pack called, um, what's it called? Not the bees. Okay, I got some draconium. Good. I heard it scream, but I don't see it. Good position to fight him. There's my portal. Back over here. So I think what we'll do is just go into the wall right here. Let's get up here to it. And just get off into the wall. To it. I'll pause the video because I just want to go and see a little bit of what's in here. Be right back. You know what, I will, I will give you a brief taste of this pig though. Look at this thing go. Whoa, get away from that. Really, two of them? Three of them? Oh, that's not good. Come on, come on. portal and hope they didn't go through. So our next step is going to be get rid of all that soul sand so they can't spawn. I didn't even think about that. Oh, wow. This could end in disaster. And the game locks up. See if we can make it back over here. I don't see a little ghosty friends. So that's a good sign. We didn't die, so that's a good sign. 
Yay. Go us, right? Alright, let's make some comparators. Some redstone sticks. Give me that. Give me that. Ooh, I thought I had more than that. Can I make some of this? Did I use it all? Apparently not. I didn't, huh? Hmm. We need five of them. Don't leave any cobble. Not enough to be of any count. Okay. So let's get a little bit of cobble out of here. We'll just make a stack of this. Let that go for now. Okay, now we need... Each one of those takes three... One, two, three, four, five, six. Throw you up there. There's my redstone sticks. I think the game calls them redstone torches. These are garbage, by the way. Those belong in the garbage can. Poof. Random stuff is full. Box and ores are full. Do need a diamond for this. One diamond there. Another quart for that. Chiseled stone. All right, how are you looking so far? Good, we've got those five. We need one of those two, so let's do this. No chest, oh yeah, we do have a chest. One of those, some of that. And what I'm gonna do is this. You go here, you go there, poof. Got us one of them dark things. That's the guy in the middle. Got that, got that. Now we just need these, which means we need six more of those. And we are set. So now we're at the mercy of our furnace, which is halfway there. Not bad. There's one. Come on, baby, give me one mo. All I need is one mo. Just one mo. Let's get everything out of the corners, because the corners will get picked up. Okay. So I want these, two of everything, poof. Poof. Alright, so let's see here. Okay. So the way this works, the way I want this to work would be like this. This can go right here and make me just as happy as it can be. Then I need item ducks. Yeah, item ducks. I should have thought this through, huh? Do I have any item ducks? I have four. We need more than that. And that was what, uh, that was lead and... Ten. It's already in there. Okay. Ten. Ten. So we don't want to go the other way around. Perfect. I did that on purpose. I just want to see if y'all are paying attention, you know. So just get a bunch of them. Then we need what's called a servo. I do believe. A piece of glass, two iron nuggets, two pieces of iron. You go back in there, you go back in there. Ooh, we are about to have some bad thunderstorms here, too. It's the weirdest thing. They're calling, and I kid you not when I say this, for thunderstorms today and snow the next two days. It's like 70, 75 degrees outside right now. Can we talk about random? I need that dump chest we talked about too. Okay, so here's how I want this to work. I want to be able to put this chest right here. Let's 
going to happen is it's going to come over here like this. Yeah, this is exactly what I want. It goes there. Nope, got that wrong. That needs to be able to come down a little more. That way I can still put the um, slab up there. There we go. Ooh, aluminum. I don't care about that. Now there's different kinds of servos. I just chose to use the easy one. So that goes like that. So you can set it. This is whitelist, blacklist. There's different kinds up here. And I think there's even like retriever ones or something like that. We'll look at those more later. But for now, this is good enough. Um, but these will do more. So like this one does an item every three seconds and a stack up to eight. Item every two seconds, every one second, every half a second. Stack up to 64. I mean, it's just, they get crazy. But for now, I think that's going to be good enough. Plus, I'll keep these things from throwing stuff up into here, which is what I don't want to happen. Oh, I did that wrong, though. There we go. That's what I want it right there. Okay. So then I want this to cover this back up. I think I cut out a few too many there. So it's all covered up now. So if I do this, then I drop. Let's drop some glass in here. Every three seconds, it should pull a piece of this out. There it goes. See, it pulled out a quarter stack or an eighth of a eight, yeah, eighth of a stack. And it's taking them over to here. Eventually, I think. Where are you putting them? Where is it putting them? <laughs> I don't. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you put the glass down here. We'll see how the number is slowly increasing as we stand here. So what I can do now, and I'm going to let it decide where to put them, because I don't really know how that algorithm works, and I don't really care where it works, as long as we know are. Oh, we need to put some stuff. Let's put all this in here for now. We'll come back and sort this. And we want that. Don't want that or that or that. There's a plan here, guys. Don't worry. There's a definite plan here. Don't panic. That's part of the plan. So we'll take this. All the glass is gone. Throw this in there. And if you watch, see how it's throwing those down. And then come back over here and stuff will start appearing. Oh, I didn't throw this in there, did I? Eventually something will show up over here. Eventually. <laughs> there we go. Something showed up. Uh, there's more stuff over there. So yeah. So it's going to fill in the gaps here. I guess it's going to count that as the first one. Because that's the one that's on top of. And that's number two. So I guess that's how the search goes. So let's see where the next one goes. It's going to take it a minute because it's got to put all that gold in there for us. Now it's taking that out. Now it's putting those in. These are pretty slow. I'm going to have to upgrade these pretty quickly. And which I can do now that we have this guy. The uh, induction smelter. But yeah, that's pretty neat right there. So now, let's go one more step. Ooh. Ooh. Now we've got a challenge. I need to think about this. Hmm. 
because we've got power coming in. This is where I miss Ender IO, because Ender IO, you can run all the kind of what's on one block space. Where here, you can't. Here, you've got to use different sides of this. So we may have to imp No, I don't want to manually empty this thing. Err. That just got more complicated. Hmm. So I guess what I could do is so I'm spell today covers no oh, what are those things called a thing. Hang on, let me find these real quick. By the way, if you like this episode, don't forget to hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe and share button. Tell all your friends about it. Because we are looking for more people to watch the channel. Um, and don't forget, if you want some games, Humble Bundles, down in the comment, down in the um, header section below. I'm losing my words again. And there's also an offer for Bicyc Hosting. Um, I'm thinking once we get to a subscriber milestone, like maybe 250 subs, then we may end up putting up some sort of server. Don't know yet. I'm still kind of kind of pondering that idea. Okay. Let's go back in the house. For just a second. Because there's got to be something. I can't think what these stupid things are called. I feel really dumb right now. No, no, no. No, 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 no. There it was. Another right. Yeah, covers. Are you kidding me? Really? So we can make covers out of that. I think we can do that. So that's something... I'll do that between episodes. Because then I can have it look like there's still walls there. But actually have the, the piping going behind it. And I think that'll work out better for all parties. So if you like that idea, let me know. Um, I always read the comments. You can tell I always reply back to them, even hard a few of them. I'm looking forward to see what y'all think about it. I know this episode wasn't action packed like it was before, but we'll get back to that pretty soon. So until next time, guys, this is Draiku. Ah, with the glowing sword of goodness. And I'll see you later.